What's up everyone? John Renger from Techno Buffalo here with the second in our upgraded gear videos. This is the Sony A7S. Uh, it's gonna be our B cam to the main uh, FS7 that we unboxed previously. If you wanna see that video, link will be down below. This is an incredible camera. It's a full frame sensor and a compact body that can also record at 4K. It does need a little help to record at 4K, which I'll show you in just a minute. Uh, we're also going to unbox the Atomo Shoguns. This is a two for one uh, type video. The box is pretty simple, the uh, Sony Alpha Low logo. Uh, not much on it, just kind of standard stuff letting you know that it does do 4K and all the different codec and such uh, that it supports. Let's go ahead and dig right in. In addition to being a pretty awesome uh, video camera, it's also a great still camera, really good supposedly in low light. Uh, so we're going to use this for all of our product shots too. Uh, we're upgrading our camera equipment from a combination of a 60D and Canon C100. So we're going from Canon uh, to Sony. So we've got limited warranty information, uh, booklets, Lenses and accessories, there certainly are a ton of lenses. Uh, we did pick up a few of our own lenses to go with this, a 16 to 35, uh, 55, and a 24 to 70, uh, the Sony Zeiss lenses. Go ahead and pull that on back. Kind of nondescript in here, but this is where all the goodness is going to live. Uh, we've got the uh, Alpha 7, not A7S strap. Looks like Sony had some uh, extra pieces laying around from their last gen camera. Pull this out. And I love that Sony did this. You actually get two uh, batteries, really nice. Either it's kind of an indication that it's really bad on battery life, or Sony just being overly generous, uh, probably the latter. Uh, we also are going to have, in case you want to charge it, just a uh, pretty simple wall wart with just the US prongs and uh, USB right there. Next, we've got what I assume is the camera body. I think it's really light and very tiny. This little guy, has a full frame sensor and can do 4K, although not internally, uh, does 1080p uh, internally. So very simple looking, really nice looking uh, grip on it. You've got manual controls, hot shoe. Uh, you've got your articulating uh, viewfinder there as well. And that goes back in. Uh, along the back, that is where your battery is going to live. Uh, this guy will take SD cards, just for normal uh, SD carding, and push that all off to the side. And again, this is where the full frame sensor is going to live. Cover that back up before I sneeze in it. Looks like there are a few more goodies hidden inside of here. I'm assuming some sort of wall charger. And there is the battery charger. There is a micro USB cord, presumably for a software. Uh, upgrades are also perhaps transferring information off. So in order to record 4K on the A7S, you need to record it externally. And what we've got, what I think is really one of the best external recorders out there, this is the Shogun by Atomos. So in addition to just being a external recorder, it's also an incredible monitor uh, with full leveling. Uh, it's got a seven inch IPS display, it's got XLR audio, uh, time code, and all that kind of other stuff, which I'll show you when I open it up. And it looks like it ships in a custom Pelican case, but let's see. Uh, so go ahead and uh, try and get this cover off. I don't think there's any way to gracefully do this. And there, finally unsheathed, uh, we've got the case and it just has the Shogun logo on it. Go ahead and turn it around. Open the sucker up. I feel like I need nuclear codes. And here is everything. Uh, letting you know that uh, new playback features uh, are coming and when those are available, how to uh, get the new software upgrade on it. We've got a strap, really cushiony uh, shoulder strap there. And here is the Shogun itself, letting it update now, register for warranty and that kind of stuff. Again, seven inch IPS display uh, and all kinds of other uh, inputs on the back. Uh, you've got SDI and that kind of stuff there and where the battery's gonna go. And then you've got a sled, but I think we have a couple other uh, sledding options here as well. Uh, you've got mounts on the top and mounts on the bottom. It uh, looks like we've got uh, one battery here and this looks like a battery. Uh, this is just what you need to put in when you wanna power it uh, externally. Then you've got a couple extra slots in case you wanna put other batteries there. It's all custom cut out. Uh, just a few, I say a few, four <laughs> extra sleds uh, in case you need. And it's telling me that there are more accessories underneath. So let's go ahead and see what else there's gonna be underneath here. Now I get why they shipped it in essentially a Pelican case. 
A uh, quick start guide, obviously getting started quickly. Uh, you can record to uh, an internal hard drive, either a standard hard drive or an SSD. Uh, we picked up a 240 gig uh, SanDisk Extreme Pro uh, SSD, and then we picked up a couple uh, docks for that as well. Uh, so here is the uh, wall power plugs in. Uh, one of these adapters, depending on what country you're in, you can use, or if you're traveling, it's gonna be really handy uh, to have that as well. We've got the battery uh, charger uh, here. And also we've got the power adapter for the battery charger, different countries, uh, charging outlets. Uh, I haven't seen one of these in a while, but in case you wanna charge on the run in the car, you can go ahead and do that. And this is my favorite feature is you're gonna get full uh, XLR audio, which I really like. We use XLR mics in the office, being able to not have any compromise in case you wanna use the A7S as a primary camera for out at a show uh, is really nice to have. And then you've got uh, your uh, powered sled in case you want to power it that way. Uh, so a lot of accessories uh, come included in this. I'm really excited to pair this, of course, with the A7S uh, and start using this. Uh, if you guys want to see what some ungraded footage looks like coming from the A7S, uh, we'll put that at the end of the video. Hey, thank you guys for watching. Thumbs up for new equipment. Until next time, I am John Ranger from Techno Buffalo. See you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. Stop the video just real fast to thank our friends and good peeps at Lenovo. If you're like me and you got a hard time bending down to touch your toes, yoga might not be for you, but now it can be with the Lenovo Yoga 3 Pro. This is a crazy cool laptop that features a ton of different modes like laptop mode, stand mode, and tent mode, and tablet mode. It's got a gorgeous 3200 by 1800 pixel 13.3 inch multi-touch display, Windows 8.1 Pro, super thin design, Intel Core M70 processor, JBL speakers, and way, way more. The Lenovo Yoga 3 Pro does things for the laptops can. Interact, play, and stay in touch your way with unmatched versatility.